Mudgy now, um, like getting ready to meet up with 200 odd people tonight and get them all registered and ready to start in the morning for the rally. Let's do it. What do you want to capture? Ninth rally, we kicked off in 2015 and it's grown from the first rally, which was uh, nine cars and 20 people, basically, nine of my mates. Uh, and Good morning, yeah. how are you? Oh, Justin, Justin yeah. <laughs> We're now at 90 cars and 200 odd people, 220. Yeah, well, it, it was. Come and get your jacket, 55 bucks. In the past. You can look as and, good as um, I do. I'd been involved in other rallies in that time and got to a point where needed to do something more significant and more, more personal yep. um, and Beyond Blue was the ideal fit for our journey and um, the ideal fit for people that want to make a difference and uh, want to help. So with that um, we decided that we would put a, a rally on um, make it simple, make it shorter than the big rallies, get rid of all the obstacles that the big, big rallies had um, and make it available for everybody and that's what we've tried to achieve. For a lot of people it's just acknowledging anxiety um, and, or you know, the next step is acknowledging depression um, but the, the ultimate end of that journey with depression can be succumbing to it in the most fatal way. Um, so we want to make it a safe environment where people can be real and have real discussions with their mates over these four days um, about what's going on in their life and what, what they can do about it. our journeys uh, and hopefully other people can relate to that um, and be brave enough to be real themselves. A good honest way to start um, but then the next question is the harder one based on what their response is because of most people their response is oh yeah everything's fine um, but then you know you've got to you've got to know how far you can probe and push and that depends on how well you know the person you're talking to. we are because people tell us yeah. um, there's I over this weekend I could I could point out four or five guys who have come up to me and said look I wouldn't be here yeah in this world today if it wasn't wasn't for this rally yeah and the opportunity it gives me we've got a guy who's not on the rally this year but he will be next year um, and you know, he's one of those people that it's it's just a joy to see that he is still alive and you know, while we first started, it was about raising money for Beyond Blue, but it's grown past that now. We know that the 
the, the event is big enough and there's enough people behind it that uh, it will always raise a lot of money. Uh, what's more important to us now and more rewarding is seeing these people that come year after year and have built friendships and strong relationships and they know that they can talk about what's really happening to them um, and so that's really important to us that we provide that that venue for four days. Well, I don't think ours is the typical journey yeah. because of Beth. Yeah. Um, you know, we were probably like most people and a bit unaware of uh, of mental illness or you know, what, whatever you wanted to call it back then. I, I remember as a child that you know my parents talking about so and so had a mental breakdown. Mm. I mean, and yeah, you know, that's that's now that screams out at me as saying, well, no, that person was just struggling. We've, um, I remember having a discussion with my parents once about why they don't drink and I thought I said you know was there a, an alcoholic uncle or something and they said no um, we were teenagers during the Second World War and um, all the servicemen were coming home and just hitting the drink and causing all sorts of grief with you know family relationships and everything and um, they were, all the teenagers were asked to take the pledge to not to drink because of the, the problems it was creating. And they st stuck with that for their whole life. Um, when mum was in her mid 80s and got dementia, she forgot that she'd taken the pledge and went to have a glass of champagne at a, um, one of her granddaughter's baby showers. And her two daughters said to her, hey mum, you remember you, d you don't drink? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I agree. They don't, with know, that. they don't know what to do, sort of thing. No, um, and I see that there's certain certain demographics that just won't. Um, you know, in my professional life, I deal with CEOs, and big business owners, and people in a lot of leadership roles, and that no way would most of them say, "Look, I've got a mental health issue." And I often say, you know, imagine if the current Prime Minister of Australia said, look, I'm struggling with depression. Half the country would say, kick the bum out. Yeah. He, shouldn't be, he shouldn't be leading us, he's not capable of it. Yeah. So you, know, you can understand why people in leadership in, in the corporate world are still afraid to, to share what's really going on. I don't think most CEOs are, are brave enough to do that. Um, not yet. No. Yeah, so this is my third year, um, and the first year I remember just um, obviously growing up with mum and dad, you know, I see them as their figure, you know, parent figure role, raising me and doing their role in the family, but to see them in the rally in that different space, I just, I saw them in a whole new light and uh, got to see this whole other side of them. And, now, you know, as a 32-year-old having an adult relationship with my parents and learning all these other things that that I never got the chance to learn about because, you know, when we lost Beth, I was 14, so I was busy being a teenager and mum and dad were still busy raising me. Um, and there wasn't nearly as many opportunities back then to have the types of discussions that we are. and. I feel like even in these three years, I've just got to learn a whole different side of them that I didn't, never saw, you know? And it feels, it feels better than an 80. Jez coming up with his first cattle drink. The people who, who come, they know that mum and dad, you know, they've got a heart of gold and they're representing themselves and beyond blue and mental health in general so people really just not even on their best behavior people are just the best version of themselves when they put themselves to something bigger like mental health so who are comfortable enough to attempt to normalize the stigmas of mental health they the more they're exposed to the conversation and realizing oh 
I just watched a, a person up on stage confess about mental health to 200 people, nobody batting an eye, and a lot of people were nodding their head, a lot of people had tears in their eyes, maybe this is a safe space where I can finally admit to someone else that I've got issued. Yeah, I definitely make it a point to, you know, bring it up in conversation. Um, so I was, the, the hardest part I always found was just to start it, just bring it up. Um, one thing I did last year, I actually did my mental health first aid certificate. Oh wow, good on you. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Two day course. Um, basically, the main focus of it was learning how to identify when you see someone who might be needing assistance and learning you know actionable ways to be able to start the conversation yeah so um in my day-to-day -day life i'm a high school teacher yep. um and you know personally i i'm i'm pretty sure that the main reason i stuck to high school was because i was in high school when you know when we lost our sister beth um and i really remember just how tough it was just being a teenager day to day going through puberty uh, learning, you know, conflicting relationships. Trish, Fion, you truly are amazing people and the support you have for one another is just as infectious. But don't just take my word for it. It just happened. There's a lot of work goes into it. It's a tireless effort, a lot of passion uh, and a lot of a lot of sleep. It's nice, no doubt, Pete. Trish, so... Yeah, so uh, well done. Thank you very much. And uh, you do look beautiful, Trish. Um, can we have three cheers for him, please? Hey, babe. 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 Well done.